Hello everyone, my name is Hema and I'm an advisor at Unirali. In our previous session, we spoke about the methodology of shortlisting universities. In this session, we'll be discussing the application portals through which you can apply to universities in Canada. In Canada, there are two types of application portals. Number one, the provincial application portal. And number two, the university specific application portal. Through the provincial application portal, one can apply to most universities in that province. For example, the province of Ontario has the OUAC, Ontario University's Application Centre, and the province of British Columbia has the Education Plan of BC. Applying through the OUAC allows you to apply to different universities within Ontario. Some universities also have individual application portals through which you can apply to that particular university. Now let's talk about the components of the application portal. Components of the application portal can be broadly divided into two categories. A. Common components that can be submitted to all universities and B. University-specific components that can be submitted to that particular university only. The common components are Number 1. Personal information. This section of the application will require you to submit information like your legal first and last names, gender, date of birth and citizenship. Number 2. Contact information. In this section, you have to present your primary email ID, home address and telephone numbers. Number 3. Academic background. In this section, you have to submit notarized copies of your post-secondary, that is 12th grade, and secondary, that is 10th grade, school transcripts, along with your English language proficiency scores. These documents may be mailed or uploaded according to the requirements of the respective universities. Number 4. Program choices. In this section, you can select the subjects that you are looking to apply for. For instance, through the OUAC portal, you can apply to any number of universities. However, you are limited to three programs at the most in any university. The number of programs you can apply to may differ on each application portal. Number 5. Activities and Employment In this section, you have the opportunity to list activities like your hobbies, sports, travel, volunteering and more. You can also enlist all your work experience, part-time or full-time, that you may have had prior to the application. Number 6. Payment section. In this section, you have to pay the application fees. The base application fee for using the portals is around 160 Canadian dollars, which is approximately 8,000 Indian rupees. Now let's talk about the university-specific components. Essays, interviews, letters of recommendations are specific to universities. Essays. They may be in a typical essay format or in the form of a questionnaire. You are usually expected to answer questions such as Why do you want to study at the university? What qualities make you the perfect candidate? And more. Interviews The interviews may include behavioral questions that may or may not be situation-specific. An example of a situation-specific behavioral question is What steps of action would you take if you saw your friend cheat during an important exam? Letters of Recommendations these are typically authored by a former teacher or employer. They include content that verifies your capabilities and deem you a suitable candidate for that particular university. Certain universities may ask for all, some or neither of these three components. For example, the University of Waterloo requires students to submit only an essay, has optional interviews and letters of recommendation are not mandatory. We hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we'll be talking about written supplements and essays so make sure to like share and subscribe if you happen to have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section below also if you would like to know more about how to apply abroad log on to www.unirely.com our counselors on the website will give you everything you need to go ahead see you next time